Hi there YouTubers, since my last uh, video on the Caliber Cricket uh, 2.2 long term view um, I will put a link to that in the in the top of the video, uh, probably just up about here um, I thought I'd do a follow up because we've got a lot of comments regarding this section of the rifle the, the loading of magazine and how this all works um, and it's caused a bit of confusion and it is a bit of a unique feature on this rifle um, and not the best in the world so um, I was looking around on Airgun Nation and one helpful member on there put up a very simple modification you can uh, do to this uh, to make this a lot easier and even make it uh, single handed uh, reloading so what we're going to do is just go through on how does this actual section work and what the modification is so we'll just take this top cover off here because we don't need that and we take a look at the, the actual mechanism itself. Now, I'm just gonna zoom into the camera a little bit here so we can see this a little bit closer and bring it down. So we can see we have the cocking mechanism here. We have the cocking handle, which we pull back and it stops there. Now, when you pull it back further on the spring, that is actually doing the charge to the rifle into the regulator. And then when you push it forward, it springs forward and then pull the trigger that's when you actually get the release of the charge on there. The second little lever we can see here, this is the magazine um, lock and uh, selector as well for it to cycle and to do that. And we can see we've got a metal cover here uh, and this metal cover is held on by two screws onto here. So let's go through the magazine loading procedure and just to remind us on how difficult this is. So first off we need to pull back the cocking lever and we can see that the pin is the top pin here this top pin just there that's the top pin we need to pull that back to that position there now because of it's loose I've got this up, up like this you can see it's just falling forward so if we hold that level that's okay now at this stage we've got clear access in here to put a magazine but if we just pick it up and pull it back you can see that that's how we can get the magazine in but this is spring loaded if we let go it flies forward again and I can't get the magazine in. So the biggest problem you got is even though you can get the cocking lever, as long as you keep it level, not tilted, cocking lever back there, this magazine selector is spring loaded. So you've got to hold that back and drop your magazine, which can be quite difficult. So here's a blank magazine here and we've got the lever back and we'll try and drop that in there and we'll try and get our finger on and this is quite difficult. So what you end up doing is, I'm trying to hold this up to the camera as well, is you end up, and you can see this is extremely difficult, you end up trying to hold back all of the levers, slot your magazine in until you hear it click, and then it's in position, in position like so. And then we can push forward, and then we push the button into the cycle position, you can see it's gone slightly forward on the notch, and then we can fire, and as we turn, the magazine will cycle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cover off so we can see this in more detail. So okay, what we've got is we've got the cover removed. Now it's just held on by two simple uh, small Phillips screws on there. Very small, easy to lose. And it's just very, very thin. I'd say it's about two mil thin. Uh, feels like just aluminum, uh, aluminium. So uh, that's all that cover removed. But what that actually does is it allows us to see the mechanism inside and see how that uh, works. So here we go, here's the, the mechanism in more detail. So we've got the cocking lever back and we can see that we've got the magazine selection lever just here. So this is in its rear position and that's it sprung forward. Now if we look closely we'll see that there's two little grooves and these are the two positions that the magazine lever goes. Its default position is on the first hook and we see that we've got the second one here. So when you actually cock the rifle and shoot and cock the rifle, if you watch this lever here, this lever here, that's not actually doing anything. It's not gone further enough forward, so it's not cycling the magazine. But if we put the lever into the first position, it's now pushed the cocking mechanism forward more. So when we shoot and when we cycle, we we'll see now it sticks out and you can see that that is how the magazine is cycled. And again back in the first position, so the first position like so, and it is apparently for single shot firing, whoever 
shoot single shot on the calibre cricket, I have no idea, but that's the reason behind it. So those are the three positions. The rear position, spring loaded, and that's what we're going to try and fix with the modification. We've got single shot, and then we've got double shot. Uh, multiple shots with the magazine cycling, as you can see, going through there. So, that's how the mechanism internally works. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the plate that we have here. We're going to take this plate that goes on that goes on that way round. Oh, no, that way round. That's how the plate goes on. So we're going to take this plate. And let's just get that where we can see it. And we're going to put an, an extra groove. We're going to put an extra groove just in here. So we've got like an M shape, an N shape. So that when we pull the cocking lever back, we can lock it into position against the spring. So that when we pull it back, when we pull it back like so, so when it comes into that rear position, we can lock it down and keep it held back and to allow us to single load. So that's the mod we're going to do. I meant I had to go and buy a new toy. And I like buying toys. And I've always wanted one of these. I've been after one of these for absolutely ages. So we got ourselves a Dremel 4000. It's a nice little Dremel, nice little cutter. And I've even got the magic wand for it as well so that I can get fine details. And we're just using a very fine metal cutter head on there and we'll do some fine detail cutting on that. So there we go. As we can see now, all I've done, and we'll just bring that right in, is I've just basically made that into an M shape. So basically now we get the screwdriver, the bolt can come in, we can pull it back and we can lock it down in place, uh, which means we can have the cocking handle open, the magazine open, we can single load in the magazine and then flip them back in the reverse order. And hopefully that means we should get some single uh, handed uh, loading in the magazine, make it a lot, lot easier. So I'm just going to put this all back together and see how it goes. Okay, so we've got the modification done, so let me show you how it looks. So you can see how it modded how it's all modded out there. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more so we can see how this works. So now we can put the cocking lever all the way back, like so, and we can actually take the magazine and lock it in place, like so. And now we're completely open. And when we're done, we'll just flip the switch forward, push forward, fire, and the opposite way, like so. So, Let's take a look at the loading on this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the bolt, open the bolt up, take the magazine, lift it open, lock it with our little new little notch. We now take our magazine, we can drop our magazine in dead central, and then with a little finger, we can just flip it across, load the magazine, and make sure that we're in the fire position. And we're good to go. Um, and obviously I'm doing this while trying to hold on to the camera and you can see the magazine cycling nicely there. And then when we want to unload the magazine, we just take, hold the bolt open, lift our little lever up. And I'm just going to catch the magazine because it's going to fall out the angle that I'm at. Lock the magazine out and then the magazine can just drop straight out. And you can see that's held in place. Oh, quick flip, let it fly forward, bring it back, hold it back. Nice simple little mod. Um, still, to be honest, do not like the loading mechanism on here. Um, it is pretty bad to be honest uh, pretty bad and even so even now that I've got this mod in place I'm still messing around with it at times and, and getting it all in a bit of a mix but um, that's how it is and the safety catch on this see I'm trying to work out the safety on this um, I don't really think there is a proper safety so let me show you safety so I've got it cocked now apparently that's supposed to be safe pull the trigger and the cock in the either springs forward and there is nothing there on the trigger. If I push this forward, nothing. So it looks like all of the actual air has been released from the cylinder. Let's do that again, pull back. The air's been released by the looks of it and there's nothing there. So if we push the cocking blade all the way forward, if we cock and push, that's when the air gets charged up. Now we are cocked and loaded. There is no safety at that stage. You are live. So if you, what I've heard uh, people say when they've got these, these rifles is that safety is effectively this cocking lever left open as it is. Now I don't like that because it's just so easy to break and snap off and I don't like that either when you pull the trigger. 
um, it's basically uncock the gun. I think at the only stage when you're actually loading up the air into the regulator is when you've pulled back and you push forward at that stage the air goes in and at that stage then it has to be released and the only way to release it is through the trigger. So hopefully you like that uh, quick update video review on how to do this very simple mod. Um, I've not done it brilliantly at all, I've just taken quickly got a Dremel, never used one before, just gone and got one because I needed one and I've done a quick simple little mod on there and you can see it actually works quite well. I just pick it up, lift and lock it out and my magazine just dropped out quite nicely and, and then we just take our magazine, drop it back in and yep, drop our magazine back in and we're there and we're good to go. Okay, so I managed to do that one-handed while balancing it and putting it all in front of the camera. So hopefully, uh, give us a thumbs up. Like I said, I'll leave a link to the actual modification itself on Airgun Nation. Um, I also link into the previous videos, so give us a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to try and make a few more videos around this rifle. I think the next one we're going to do is we're going to do the strip down and the trigger section as well on that. So thank you very much and bye.